So this method can help to answer key questions in a drug discovery process about how a specific drug behaves in a living organism. The main advantage of this technique is it allows large sample sizes to be screened quickly and efficiently. This technique is already having a major impact in drug discovery by enabling a highly quantitative assessment of the in vivo effects of drug candidates. This method provides novel mechanistic insights into the onset and progression of misfolding diseases. Furthermore, this method can also be applied to other systems such as aging and genetic screenings. We're very excited by this opportunity to introduce new physical methods into the space of drug discovery. Visual demonstrations of this method is critical as the screening steps require a high familiarity with this novel automatic technique. Demonstrating the procedure will be Sam Casford, a research assistant from our laboratory. Before beginning the procedure, add 2.2 milliliters of each drug compound at the appropriate concentration to 6,5-fluoro-2-deoxyuridine, or FUDR, plates per worm strain by carefully spreading the compound over the whole surface of the plate and dry the plates under sterile conditions. While the plates are drying, use 15 milliliters of M9 buffer to wash the worms from five rich nematode growth factor plates and transfer the liberated worms into a conical tube for centrifugation. Resuspend the nematodes in 3 milliliters of fresh M9 buffer for quantification of the number of worms in the L4 larval stage and seed 700 L4 larvae onto each of the six dry FUDR plates per worm strain per compound.